It's your boy Odin from Host Stop Promo, and I'm super excited to be showing you guys Azura Cast and show you how you can set up your own self hosted web radio within minutes, okay? And this is free and open source software. All you need to do to run this software is you need access to a server. If you want a free trial to DigitalOcean, you'll get $50 with the link down below. You can sign up within a minute. Come here, click Create Droplet, click Marketplace, and they have a one-click installation for AzuraCast. You just click AzuraCast, and you can spin up a $5 server and get started, okay? Now, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. When you first access your IP address for AzuraCast, it's gonna ask you to create a user. It's also gonna ask you to create a station. You can skip the station part and just go ahead and play around with the settings and create a station later if you'd like, okay? So this is the main dashboard where you can see how many listeners are per station. Um, if we go ahead and click here, my account, you can see the admin email that you set. Uh, you can also see the role of the user and you can also customize the language. So if you want to switch it to Spanish, you can. If you want to switch it to the dark theme, you can do that as well. And you can also change your password here. Um, if you want to switch back theme, you could either go back to that or there's also an option in the menu that says switch theme, okay? You can also add two-factor authentication. And I'm also gonna show you the system administration. So the system administration has a bunch of different options that you can use. Uh, for example, you can set up API keys, which is pretty cool if you wanna connect to third-party applications. Uh, you can do custom branding where you select uh, different things you know whether you want to hide the album art if you want a default album art you can put custom CSS custom JavaScript and you can also check the system logs um, it shows you where to do that and you can also check the audit log so you can see what users are doing for example you can see I added a test station earlier a station called test and then I removed it so you can easily monitor your users or if you have editors logged in and they don't have an admin but you wanna watch what they're doing, you can easily do that. You can check uh, history from the last seven days, last 30 days, you can search for audits. Um, they also have option to do backups, which is pretty cool. So you can either run a manual backup or you can click, come here and click configure. You can run automate, automated nightly backups um, you can exclude media from backups. You can say how many backups you want to keep and you can also say the exact time you want to run a backup. On top of all that, you can set up uh, different settings in the system settings. So you can set if you want a specific browser URL, if you want to use a web proxy, if you want to use web sockets. You can choose if you always want to use HTTPS and have a more secure site. Uh, they have quite a few options in the settings. You can set up user accounts. So this is pretty cool. You can click add user, add a different user, and then you can select the role right here. And if you need to add more roles, you can easily do that. If we go back and we go to permissions, you can come here and click add permission. And we could just do role name editor. And then you can say the editor can view the system logs. And the editor can... Uh, view the system administration page, but that's all the editor can do and then you can assign new users to that role Okay um, On top of that, let's go back and see what other settings we have uh, So I'm gonna go ahead you can see some stats down here about the server status the CPU load how much gigabytes are being used on the server and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to create a station. So we're gonna to go to stations, manage station, and click add station. We're gonna add our first radio station. And we're gonna name it uh, the best radio station in the world. And we can go ahead and set a description if we want. Awesome music. You can set a genre if you want, and you can also set a specific website URL. You can choose if you want and enable a public page. Obviously, if you're doing a public radio, that is a very good idea. And then there's also three other tabs up here. So you can come here to the broadcasting and you can say if you wanna to connect to a remote server, the different ports. There's a lot of different configuration options. They also have an auto DJ service uh, where it'll help you auto DJ your music. So it'll help you with crossfades. 
and transitioning from song to song. You can do normal mode, snart mode. Uh, you can even disable crossfading if you don't want that. You can allow song request so your visitors can request for different songs. Um, you can allow streamers and DJs. Uh, you can set it to replay, replay gain metadata. Um, and there's also a lot of advanced confi custom configuration options you can look into. And then there's also an administration tab where you could say, for example, I will only let four gigabytes or eight gigabytes of data on this specific radio station because you can add music to that radio station. And now that we have our basic settings set up, we can just click save changes and it go ahead and it creates us a radio station. And now we can go ahead and we can click manage and this will help us manage our radio station. You can see we have a stream. If we go ahead and press play, it sounds like something like this. says our station is ready to go. All we need to do is add new music to our playlist. Um, you can also see the public page right here and there's also a link right here. So if we open this in a new tab, it will look something like this and you can set the background and have the different types of music here. Um, and also if you come here and you click music files, you can easily start adding files, okay? So you just click select file and you can start dropping music files in there. And you can also start uh, setting playlists, clearing playlists. You can create new folders. You can move music around, delete music. If you come here, playlist, you can see that you can easily add a playlist. You can also delete a playlist. Um, you can set up streamer and DJ accounts so you can enable people to DJ live. Uh, you can set different mount points. Mount points are how listeners connect and listen to your station. Each mount point can be a different audio format or quality. Using mount points, you can set up a high quality stream for broadband listeners and a mobile stream for your phone users, okay? For example, if we click mount point, you can come here, you can set a specific URL. You can also set the different type of format, whether you want it to be MP3, OGG, AAC. Um, you can set the bit rate from 128 to 96, 64. Um, remote relays, I'm not exactly sure what this does. Remote relays let you work with broadcasting software outside the server. Any relay you include here will be included in your station statistics. You also can broadcast from the server to remote relays. Uh, webhooks, this is really cool. So look, you can easily set up a webhook. So basically, if something happens on your application, you can then go ahead and send out a web request and have it do something. For example, uh, telegram chat message, uh, anytime the current song changes or anytime a DJ connects, you can go ahead and send out a telegram message uh, to a chat or a group and you can customize the message here and it also lets you use basically dynamic uh, variables, okay? On top of that, you can set it for Twitter, so anytime a song changes or Anytime the listener count increases or anytime a live streamer connects to the stream, you can automatically do tweets. You can choose if it tweets every 60 seconds, 15 seconds, 10 minutes, one hour, whatever, okay? You just put in your Twitter API credentials and then you are good to go and you can also customize the message down here. Top of that, they also have a few other webhooks. You can just do generic webhooks where if something happens, you can basically have it connect to a certain URL and send a post message request, okay? So this is pretty cool, all of the stuff it does out of the box. There's also a section down here that's for reports where you can see different statistics about how many listeners per day, per hour, per day of the week. Uh, you can see the best performing songs in the last 48 hours. You can see the worst performing songs. You can see the most played songs in the last month. Top of that, we can see a song playback timeline. And we can also see if, the, for example, if we click duplicate songs, it will tell us if there is any duplicate songs, which is a very helpful feature. Um, song listener impact, uh, you can basically see the impact and some more statistics that each song has. Obviously, we don't have any songs, so the data is kind of useless right now, okay? If we click utilities in the left-hand menu, uh, we go to automated assignment. 
um, you can see that it can s how what does this do uh, allow the system to periodically automatically assign songs to playlists based on their performance so this is pretty cool um, you can have it do it every seven days every 14 days by default it's automatically disabled but it will basically place your highest performing songs in the highest weighted playlist and do everything for you and it will figure it out through the algorithms and then there's also some other options and utilities for example if you click log viewer we can go ahead and see where all the different logs are and we can also click different logs we can see the air log the access log so we can see exactly what is going on with our radio application we can also click upcoming song queue and go ahead and click this and this will tell us the upcoming songs that are coming up um, and then we can click restart broadcasting and that will restart the radio station okay uh, so this is pretty cool you know I really think this is a really cool application if you want to launch your own radio I highly recommend checking it out you guys you can easily get started for free with the trial down below and DigitalOcean also makes it so you don't have to set up or configure everything so if you go ahead and you configure it on your own server you're gonna have to spend some time figuring out how to install it configure it all that with DigitalOcean they have a one-click install and they support Azura cast so yeah guys I highly recommend checking this out if you're a DJ if you're throwing a party if you want to run your own web radio or even some type of podcast this is really really cool software I highly recommend you check it out if you have any questions make sure to leave them down below I will leave relevant links in the description and I would also appreciate if you check out my website host.promo which compares the best web hosting companies and domain registration companies in the world and you can see free trials you can see where to get free domains and you can see all the different promotions going on at any given time and compare all the companies and I hope you guys enjoy my awesome radio station right here and I hope you have an amazing day peace out